This is a striking activity that we are calling Peel It Off. So here are some items you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of ball you want the kids to use uh, to hit. You can use their hand as an implement. You can have them hold it up. You can use a, a noodle for, as a golf club. You can use a golf club. You can use a paddle, whatever you see fit. Again, this, we're working on striking. And then you're going to need a bunch of poly spots. All right, so you can see down the middle here, we line them up straight down the middle because we are playing from sideline to sideline. You can also go from baseline to baseline as well, uh, whichever distance you want to go. Uh, so I put in six in a stack. You can do more, you can do less, whatever you have there. Uh, you can also, instead of having a straight down line, you can just kind of scatter the stacks out. The students, uh, we have large class sizes, so we're having them partner up and share a ball. They can easily play on their own if you have the space and equipment for it. So they're going to start on our sideline. One student will go uh, from the pair to the ball on the ground. Again, we're working on striking. You can have them hold on to it and hit it if you want as well. We're doing it on the ground, so they're going to swing that arm, strike the ball, and try to get the ball to hit a stack of poly spots. My hit missed, so I would go get my ball, and I would run back and hand it to my partner, so then my partner can have a turn, and I would wait my turn. Anytime our ball touches one of the stacks, I get to peel a dot off, the, off that stack. So let's say mine hit this one, I would peel the first dot off, I'd get my ball, and I would go back. And then we're gonna make a collection of whatever dots we have over there. Same thing, knock it in again, peel the one off the top. And then when there's one left, obviously, you're gonna peel the one off the floor. Okay, and it doesn't matter. I, like, I made mine random order of, of the, what the knots are made of and the stacks and stuff like that. At the end, when most of the dots have been collected or all, however you wanna work on it, or you can time them and play in rounds, you, uh, determine a winner, you may want to look for a certain color dot, certain size dot if you have different sizes, a uh, combination of the two, you know, how many green small ones and big blue ones do you have, something like that. Be really creative to make that randomness to find a winner, they're going to win her, have a celebration, and, he, uh, and then have the kids restack them if there's time to play again. So just tell them, hey, put six in a stack, boom, 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 put them down the middle, go again. So, I hope that your students will enjoy this one. I'm Coach Bro reminding you to keep on moving.